In the time that it takes for this endo-treated tooth to rotate, the biofilm in the water lines of an average dental chair will have given birth to about half a million new bacteria. During the same 30 seconds, the flow of cooling water to a dental drill will have flushed out less than 3% of the water in the chair, leaving 97% to stagnate. This water is so stagnant that it contains more bacteria than water in a washroom urinal. If you put disinfectant in the chair water bottle, you'd have to flush all the water lines for at least five minutes to get active disinfectant to the ends because the redox reducing capacity of water lines quickly inactivates disinfectants. Quebec researchers have shown that the stagnant water in dental chairs contains Legionella bacteria, and it's known that dentists and their assistants inhale Legionella because studies have shown their antibody levels to be higher than those of the general population. Aerosols created by dental drills contain smaller particles that linger longer and penetrate deeper into lungs than the hotel air conditioning that killed three people in this Spanish hotel this winter. We're not surprised that the dental profession has finally been shown to be responsible for a Legionella death. The 82-year-old Italian left home only to attend a dentist's office, so the blame could not be placed elsewhere. We have researched the failings of most methods of dental chair sanitation and have been issued US and Canadian patents for a device that is simple, effective, and inexpensive to manufacture. It's a passive system, an automatic part of the chair that doesn't require dentists or their assistants to juggle lines and flush for the amount of time necessary to remove stagnant water. The device uses the same principles as those successful in treating human infections, debridement and disinfection. The automatic flushing drastically reduces the number of bacteria and introduces fresh chlorine in mains fed chairs or fresh disinfectant in bottle fed chairs right to the ends of the water line killing any residual bacteria and avoiding stagnant dead-end legs. This prototype, number five, was used for proof of principle and an aesthetic model would cost very little to bulk manufacture. We believe that these patents could give a chair manufacturer a significant marketing advantage. We call it the Fillery Flusher and encourage licensing inquiries.